It will be spoken about 100 years from now, 200 years from now. Extremely important. Essentially, you cannot take somebody out of a race because an opponent would like to have it that way. And it has nothing to do with the fact that it's the leading candidate, whether it was the leading candidate or a candidate that was well down on the totem pole. You Aze, King Moose, welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii. The uh <laughs> channel. Getting there with no OBS transition. Yeah, me too. Okay, I was just gonna make a quickie little thing. I'm packed. I gotta take my mom to two different locations, so I'm transport guy. Ah. Uh, one of them is the eye doctor, um, who used to be uh, frequenting our Toastmaster group. Not. He got uh, busy when we went Zoom for the COVID season of plague. But I just wanted to make this little video, a little vlog and news. I kind of just wanted to make a super short test run. I put the compressor thing back on, the filter for the microphone, the Yeti here. You can see the Yeti? The Yeti microphone. I put the compressor back on, and you know what? I'm gonna test this one. I'm doing this thing here. Um, there's different modalities, and it's gonna. Okay, this is the uh, stereo modality. Oh wait, that's the heart modality. Accordia. Oh no, that's the other modality. Okay. Okay, so obviously there's this one, and there's this one. This is the other one I thought it was on, and then I'm, this is supposed to be on this one. It's a heart-shaped field. Anyways, it was... I'm just testing these things out. I'm a little bit early in the morning, so I'm getting that uh, UV right, light right. And... Uh, I also wanted to test something else, and I forgot what it was. Uh, so the 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 the, 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 the Jimmy Stewart uh, yeah, yeah I was just going to uh, mostly test that and make a really quickie thing, but you know what? It just all went haywire. It just went freaking cuckoo this morning. Early in the morning, I get this text, right? I'm like, oh god, what now, right? And this is like, I woke up pretty early, and you know, doing this to get this done, and um, it was one of our Toastmasters, his apparently um, upset about um, maybe news because he's talking about how Trump's a criminal and he shouldn't be allowed to vote. Um, but, like, allowed to vote? <laughs> I don't think Trump voting is the real situation here, but I said, uh, you know, I remember you. and then he does a Facebook call, call, and I mean, he does this on the thread for all of us Toastmasters, so everybody's getting this 5.30 in the morning thing, then, um, he does a FaceTime call, so I'm just like, I am not answering, I'm just like, well, that's gonna go into this call and tell him, this is too early for this, because he's talking about first, well, Always. this Toastmasters, it's angels and demons for me, my toast. Table topics is going to be about it. I'm not going to talk about angels. I ask him about it. But anyways, he starts doing this stuff about the morning star Lucifer and talking about Trump. And I was like, I go to this FaceTime call and everybody else is waiting to get in. There's other... I'm like, I can't believe everybody's on this. And then he's not on it. So everyone's waiting in a limbo on this FaceTime call that never happens. So I texted him back and I'm trying to get ready early in the morning. I text him back, I'm like, uh, your FaceTime call, and he's like, uh, can I call you later? <laughs> so everyone's going cuckoo. But I found out why. It's like the, he must have been watching, he flipped on the news. He woke up early, flipped on the news. The Supreme Court of the United States, not just a state, the US Supreme Court, has just uh, made a decision 
Oh my gosh, I'm alert. Uh, they made a decision. They call it an opinion. And their opinion is that, uh, and they call it an opinion because it's not a law, right? But their opinion is that Trump should be allowed, Donald Jefferson Trump should be allowed on the ballots from the states. So this is the one where Colorado took him off the ballot and went all the way up to the Supreme Court and they said Trump should be allowed to be on the ballot, says the Supreme Court. That's the news. And add that to tomorrow is Super Tuesday, which simply means most of the primary elections happen. So at the end of Super Tuesday, we'll know pretty much, you know, who won in the states to be on the to go into the general election. The one that finally counts. We command it. If we command it to count. If, of course, it's not refuted and all the other stuff that happened before gets replayed and even the president said, I'm sure that's going to happen all over again. So it's just campaign crazy and election, election cuckoo has already begun. It's before Super Tuesday and that's what's, what's going, going on. on. Supreme, Supreme Court. 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 Uh, I don't know. There's that, um, you know, they're saying, the Supreme Court, that he shouldn't see what happened in Colorado to recap, if you didn't hear this part, is they had a little trial themselves in Colorado, looked at all the January 6th stuff and said, you know what, yeah, he's an insurrectionist, so we're not going to let him on our ballot. So they excluded them from the Colorado ballot, and that's what the opinion done. And the Supreme Court is basically saying, you can't label them an insurrectionist with insurrectionist penalties. This is Article 14, Section 3 of the United States Constitution. It says that someone took the oath of office and participated in an insurrection cannot run for office again. But you gotta be participated in an insurrection for that. Please leave. So the Supreme Court says, well, he's not officially an insurrectionist, like he wasn't proven in a court of law, even though Colorado proved it for themselves. <sighs> See, he has to be um, convicted by the Congress, like it has to go pop up in the House, then go to the Senate. It's like the House of Representatives. We will impeach him. This is the process. We will impeach him. And the Senate is, is he convicted of the impeachment? Does it stick? So it has to go through Congress, which can't pass a bill to wipe its own ass. So I don't know. This is, it's probably just going to come down to Trump versus Biden in the general election. But there's other states. Um, yeah, so it's a big hula la before the Super Tuesday, which is supposed to be the hula la. <laughs> hula la? Okay. Don't. Don't? Okay, let's see what's happening. Uh, I, I was gonna make this short. I was just gonna be like a technical run. Let's see how the transition works. Transition works. Okay, there it is. Oh, we got the hula show back. It's not the Godak hula show, it's the. Uh, oh, wait. The plan, Do you know? plan to fund the show, the Kilo Hana Hula Hey, I'm talking here. The plan to fund the Hula the Kilo Hana now Hula Show. It could spar a lawsuit. Oh, hey, it doesn't gonna be a. I'm gonna sue. Everyone's like court sue happy. Let's see if this and the paper don't work. What? And since we're only two sections, oh, and the uh, sports, they're bouncing back and they're grabbing those balls. <laughs> it's its baseball time and everyone likes the UH baseball blah, 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 and a bunch of baseball stuff and all that stuff, but I'm not really following the baseball. Anything else in there? Nope, basketball. <laughs> nope. 
Oh, just relax. It's already crazy. Oh, remember back in the day, like in 1977, when you wanted to relax, you just jump on one of those E.K. Fernanda rides at... Oh, the seat. Oh, look. 1977, the Scrambler. I'm relaxing now. Can you hear me? Ah. Uh, the Scrambler ride is one of the attractions of drawing numbers at 50th State Fair at Magic Island, with 230,000 people already through the turnstiles. That's some tickets. Ticket stuff. Scrambler. That's the one that just spins around. Oh, gosh. Ah! Oh, shall we just maybe a finger on the pulse? <laughs> Get away from the baseball bit. Okay. Ah, what do we have? Finger in the pulse. Blue little cartoon. Oh! Uh oh! It's right before Super Tuesday. You know those protest votes about <laughs> Israel? You didn't stop Israel. Biden just made Israel. Um, they're doing what they're doing. And he's putting some aid for the people down there. He's like, oh, but the youth vote, we don't want to vote for you because you're too old. Uh, we're too young. And, oh, God. So, anyways, he's like, oh, my gosh. I'm they're making fun of him having ice cream. Let's look at those Americans. We'd rather have a hot dog. <laughs> I'm gonna try to be American. Okay, what should we do here? Oh. Let's do campaign remarks. No. You know this one. Let's just do this one. Take Trump's threats seriously. He is a danger. <laughs> a recent letter proposed oh, pull, 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 pull. proposes after railing against Donald Trump is a compulsive liar those with Trump derangement syndrome are lecturing us to take him literally when he says he will encourage Vladimir Putin to attack countries that are delinquent in their NATO payments make up your mind on Trump's credibility star advertiser site Arfo February 22nd Ah, far from what the author insinuates, there is no initial contradiction. When someone who has shown himself to be both dangerous and dangerous, dangerous and wishy-washy issues, Nicole. and wishy-washy issues, threats, erring on the side of caution means still having to take those threats seriously. It is not advisable to cave in to Trump's extortion, and the actual Trump derangement is not a legitimate concern about his dangerous actions, but the insistence on excusing them. Stuart K. Hayashi Mililani. Oh, thank you, Stuart, for uh, <clears throat> bringing us to that, I guess. <laughs> Transition. Camera two. Oh gosh. Okay, so um, yeah. Um, I don't know. Right now, it's all hyper hyper, and in situations of chaos and confusion, there's gonna be the grabbing of powers. That's what happens. It's like you you throw the smoke bomb in there. And then you grab, 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 and do the cuckoo stuff. And hopefully that's, you know, that's how um, inscrupulous, you know, uh, actions happen a lot of times. So hopefully everybody has their thinking cap on when they do this thing. But there are powers like the Supreme Court, which is Trump decided now, five to four on the Trump side, the Supreme Court. It's a little bit creepy that um, someone who wants to be a dictator use the Department of Justice to take out their political enemies and suppress the fourth estate, freedom of press, call them fake, don't listen to them, listen to me, and just simply deny uh, realities of Ah, oh, just to grab the power. And this guy is on the side of these, I mean, I... Be quiet. I fear the foreign policy thing, because whose side are we on? <laughs> if, if that guy is siding with Putin and Il Don Kim, North Korea, what, whose side is the U.S. on? So anyhow, hmm, 
maybe democracy will survive. We'll see. It survived the great experiment after the American Revolution, and the great democratic experiment survived after the Civil War. Let's see if it survives this. I don't know. I I I I I I I I, I, I think I gotta do the transition. Okay. Hello. Hello, everybody. It's not dark days. I just woke up early. Okay. That's nice. Aloha. Oh, it should be all fine. It'll be all fine. Thank you.